Joined by Dr. Rob Neal, founder of Golf Biodynamics, who just finished an amazing project on how the best wedge players do it. And today we're going to talk about stopping angle. So let's get going. I'm, I'm going to say stopping power, your ability to control where the ball finishes. Right. And I think that's going to be related to how close you hit it to the hole. Okay, so ways we can stop the ball. Immediately people always think spin, stop it with spin. There's another way, isn't there? Yeah, so the steeper the ball's coming down or the sharper the descent or land angle, the sooner it will stop. I mean, if you stop this, drop this ball vertically, yeah. it's going to exactly finish quickly. where. Obviously, you can't do that when you're playing golf. So it's always a combination of how much spin, how much land angle. And um, that actually leads into those distances where you have your greatest stopping power. So when you're using the best of spin and the best of land angle, you can really stop the ball very, very quickly. Well, let, let's hit one high here because I think this is going to be very interesting for the viewers at home. We've got that target out at just about 60 yards. I'm going to hit this pretty high, and I think it'll stop fairly quickly, but we're going to show you why it stops. I'm going to hit this pretty high. So that one was hit pretty high, I think. I mean, it did certainly stop pretty quickly. Let's go and have a look at the height of that one. So that one was hit, it was 40 feet high. It launched at 30, 40 degrees. Yep. Um, uh, 40 feet high, and it had a spin rate of about 8,000. That was 40 feet high. That's one way to stop it. That's it, yeah. And that'll, stop, that'll stop pretty quickly. That'll stop. But let's just keep those numbers in mind. 40 feet high, just over 8,000 spin. Launch angle 34. Let's go back. I'm going to hit the other one now, which is really this is more the spinner, isn't it? I'm going to yeah. hit this in a little bit lower and see if that spin rate and launch angle changes. I says it should do if I do it properly. A different way to stop the golf ball. Probably hit it just a little bit too far. But let's just go and have a look at those numbers now. So that one's 33 feet. So much lower. Much lower. The launch angle, much lower. But here's the interesting part. The spin rate is higher. So what you're going to be using there, because it launched lower, you're going to need more spin to make it stop. Right. So, so your stopping power is still launch angle, but it's shifted towards spin. So there are two definite ways to stop the ball. You can stop it with the height and the landing angle coming down. Well, it'll never come down quite vertically, but close to that. Or you can stop it with spin. So just think about what you've heard here today from Dr. Rob. It's very interesting stuff. The lower shot has the more spin. I didn't always know that. <laughs> 